Uh, anyway, so what, what am I doing? I forgot what I was doing. Oh yeah, wake ups. Let me gather my thoughts. Excuse me. Uh, okay. So... I'm trying to think of the best way a new player can approach this, and I think probably since there's no tutorial in the game, the best way to approach this is by looking at the training mode, right? So, you go into training mode, let's start from reset. You just bought Tekken 7, you go into training mode, this is what it looks like by default. You already watched my YouTube video explaining why you should set this to second action guard or guard all. So we have that set up, right? So now we're going to ground techniques. And let's look at ground techniques because ground techniques are going to give us an idea of how the wake up system works in the game, right? So let's look at this. Uh, quick side roll, left and right. Okay, what is that? What is that about? Well, let's set it. Quick side roll left. If we knock him to the ground, there he goes. So that is a tech roll. Uh, when you land on the ground, excuse me. When you land on the ground from an airborne state, and that means your legs, your feet are not touching the ground anymore. So for example, you cannot tech roll off of a stun because your feet were on the ground the whole time, right? You are stunned, you can't tech roll. But if you get knocked off your feet, you can tech roll, right? So this is a tech roll that you do by either hitting punches to go into the background or kicks to go into the foreground. It doesn't matter too much, don't worry too much on which direction you go, okay? It's more about getting up off the ground quickly. The, the animation of the wake up situation there is invincible. You can never be hit during that. It's 100% invincible. So this is, if you have the option available to you, for the most part, this is the safest way to get off the ground. Anytime you're in the air, and it doesn't matter what you've been hit by, when you get knocked down, if you push an attack button, you'll get up. And when you're getting up, you're invincible. This is the only case in the entire game where you're completely invincible, except for during this running tackle. Not that running tackle, the other running tackle, forget that. Anyway, you're completely invincible. Uh, I'm trying to stay focused here. So that's the tech roll, right? It's important, important to remember. Mm, tech roll direction matters for combos against Dragonov. Hey, somebody banned Sivlov. Oh, he's a fucking mod. Damn it. Uh, hey, don't talk again, okay? I don't need to get confused by this shit. I'm talking about for, for noobs. We're talking to noobs here. We're talking to noobs, okay? So anyway, don't worry about the direction you tech roll in. Don't listen to that fucking guy. He doesn't know shit. Uh, listen to me, okay? That's a tech roll. When you hit the ground, you're invincible. And for the most part, it doesn't matter what, what direction you go in. There will be a point where you reach a level where it starts to matter what direction you go in. But it won't come for years. So don't worry about it yet, okay? Just worry about what the way it works, right? When you hit the ground, you can get up safely. The problem is, there's two things to remember. When you're getting up from a tech roll, you're recovering in crouch. So you can't do any move that you have. You can only do moves that come from crouch. This also means that you can't move in any direction because you're in a crouched state. So when the opponent is waking up someone who's tech rolling, like King right now, right? I knocked him down, he's waking up with a tech roll. I know what he can do. His options are limited because he's forced into a while standing state. He can't do anything he wants, right? So this is where you get advantage, right? I'm waking him up with a mix up. He can't interrupt that hop kick and he can't interrupt, let's say a throw, right? So if you tech roll, you can be mixed up. It's dangerous, okay? So that's why there's other options here, right? So let's try this quick recovery. I don't know what this even means, right? I'm new to Tekken. What's quick recovery? Let's try it. We'll reset, knock him down, quick recovery. Okay, quick recovery, unfortunately the game doesn't tell you what this is or how to do it, but if you hold forward from the airborne state, 
This is an option you have. You get up, it is an attack, it'll hit you, you. <laughs> it's evasive. So do you think King has a normal situation going on downstairs, or is it more like a red rocket? Hey, thanks very much. Hilarious. So funny. I'm sure when you're in social studies class, uh, you really are nailing all the jokes, okay? And I'm sure you're a hit at recess. But I'm fucking busy right now. Thanks very much. I appreciate it. Just do me a solid. Keep it down, okay? Just keep it down. For Christ's sake. I don't even remember what I was saying. Oh, yeah. Okay, for you beginners, don't worry about that shit either. This shit's no good. It's dangerous. That's the key. This is very dangerous. So you don't ever want to do it. But the way you do it is you hold forward while you're airborne. Okay? Next caller. Quick back roll. What is that? Aha, now we're getting into the meat and potatoes of the wake-up situations in this game. In this game, for the first time in Tekken history, holding back is a good idea when you're on the ground. Historically, every Tekken tutorial you ever watch will tell you do not hold back when you're on the ground. And the reason for that is because you get fucked up in the old games. But now they have this new animation, which is very, very safe. I can't really do much to you if you just hold back. You see that? If you just hold back, this is for noobs. This is for you. This is for you. You're a new player, right? They put this in for you. It's to help you get off the ground and prevent legacy Tekken players from bullying you for not knowing how to get up off the ground. So we got three different wake-up situations that are very, very important and relatively safe. You got holding back, which is a great option, and then you got the tech roll left and right. So now you're in business. You learned quite a bit, right? Let's talk some more about these different situations. What if you don't want to do anything on the ground? What if you want to just stay down? That sounds fair, right? So, let's go to, uh, what's stand-up? Oh, what's stand-up mean? Stand-up, front roll. Oh, this is action off the ground, I think. Right, let's see spring attack. Uh, is he gonna do spring attack? Woo, practice mode is pretty good. It does all the grounded options for you. It's not pretty good. I don't want to fucking blow smoke up their asses or whatever, right? Uh, it's decent at best. Don't get crazy. Anyway, let's talk about what happens on the ground. Other options, right? Other options. Let's talk about... I'm going to focus on the important ones. There's a lot of things you could do on the ground, right? There's a lot of depth to the wake-up system in this game. But I'm trying to keep it real simple and safe for you noobs right? Holding back is extremely important. But there is, let's just focus on that, okay? Because it's really important. If you hold back off the ground, let's get rid of this, uh, not set, and ground technique, hold back, right? Okay, so this is what I want to focus on. This is what I want to focus on, right? So, if you are in the, the position that he's in, which is face up, feet towards, it's very safe. But it's not always safe. In this game, when you're on the ground, there are four potential grounded positions that you could be in, right? And these four are basically, imagine it being when your front is facing the opponent or when your back is facing the opponent. So a, a front-facing situation is this. You see how King's looking at you? You see that? He's looking down at you. It's like a front-facing position. This, this is a back-facing position. So if I hold back from this position, I do a vulnerable animation. So it's not always completely safe, but in most cases it's safe. So, for the most part, you can tech roll or hold back, and you'll get up off the ground. It's the safest, easiest way to do it. 
to mix that up, you can stay on the ground forever. It's not like uh, In Just Ass or Clay Fighters or any of those 2D games. You can lay down as long as you want. And every time they hit you on the ground, it counts as a resetted situation, right? So I'll give you an example. This is gonna be interesting for you guys. So, how do you do this shit? Watch this. Uh, player status, opponent status, face up, right? So when I reset the camera, he's on the ground, right? Now we're gonna set this to quick roll. You remember how I explained to you how you can uh, quick roll, right? So when you're on the ground and I hit you, you have an opportunity to get up. This is very, very important for new players, right? If you're on the ground and you get hit, you can tech roll. It's like a reset. It's like a... Imagine if you just hit the ground after a hop kick. It's just like that. So if people are fucking you up on the ground over and over again, each hit that you get hit by gives you the opportunity to get up off the ground. And when you don't do it, you miss the opportunity. So a lot of the time near the wall or situations where you're kind of pinned up against the wall, they'll hit you over and over and over again and you'll miss your opportunity to get up. You know, it's like basically you're, you don't know that you can tech roll here. You know what I mean? That's a big deal. In Street Fighter or in Injustice, this doesn't exist because in those games, you can't stay on the ground, right? In those games, when you hit the ground, you only have one opportunity to quick rise. And if you don't use that opportunity, then it's a like it's a delayed get up, right? So in this game, you can stay down and it allows you to get up after your hit. It's super, super important. The concept probably never even dawned on a new Tekken player because you're coming from a 2D game, you know? It's a whole new concept. Being able to lay on the ground and the reset situation. Let me get some water. Um, there are so many other things to talk about when it comes to wake ups. I think it's like uh, unnecessary complication. I think what I talked about there is enough. That's enough for you to like hit the ground running, right? You understand how it works. You understand the things to remember are that when you're on the ground, it's like you're in a stance. If you're in face up feet towards like this, it's like being standing and you have access to specific tools like this or like getting up with back like we talked about or whatever, right? And it's a completely different situation from this the tools you have access to are different you have this low kick instead of this low kick and they have different frame data so as long as you understand that when you're in this position the safest thing to do is hold back then you're going to be in good shape and you always want to remember that every time you're hit on the ground you can tech roll to get up those are very important things to remember Mm, good luck one step at a time really that's what it is one step at a time slowly you'll pick up the wake-up system and it'll be very very intuitive but uh, you know everyone's got to start somewhere I mean this isn't an easy game nobody ever said it was you know what I'm saying <laughs> you have the time <clears throat> you have to time the direction with when you hit the ground. Okay, it is... Yeah, that's a good question. That's a good question. Retro Gaijin. Okay, let me tell you exactly how it works. Because I told you... Uh, I didn't tell you enough how it works. So, getting up with a tech roll, which is what he's doing, you do have to do it when you hit the ground. But it's not like super strict timing. So, uh, it's more like kind of... Like, just make sure you're pushing buttons when you hit the ground. It's very comparable to Injustice. You know how in Injustice you push buttons and you roll when you hit the ground? It's very comparable. You have a window of opportunity, but it's not very small. 
However, for the quick back roll, which is very, very important to remember and really safe, you can just hold that. Just hold it down and he'll do it. So that one, it's like a, uh, it's not a window of opportunity. That one you gotta hold. The tech roll, you got a, you got a window of opportunity, but it's not a, not a small one. It's kind of easy. Mm, I hope that helps. This kind of thing ain't easy. It's not easy to teach. It ain't easy to learn. It's not easy to teach either. A uh, bunch of people I need to thank. Berto Exulus or whatever. Thanks very much. Uh, 